Nice stock Mr. fans. David Cronenberg's The Brood. Let's check it out. This is Dr. Raglan. He performs psychoplasmics. It's like a therapist. Oliver Reed plays him. Apparently the sessions, sessions are open to the public. Dr. Raglan, I'd like to thank you all for coming this afternoon. I believe your bus is waiting outside now. Thanks. This is Art Hindel. He plays Frank. His daughter Candace has some bruises on her back. Now his wife, who they're estranged from, is currently with Dr. Raglan. You let her see Candace on the weekends, don't you? Yes, Frank, I do. But then that's different. Regular visits for that daughter was built into her program from the very start. Yeah, well, her program has just changed. The law believes in motherhood. His attorney. If I can dig up enough testimony to prove that Raglan's a dangerous fraud, Somerfree's crawling with crazies. And here is the mom. You hit me with your fists and, and you scratch me with your nails. Samantha Ecker. You hurt me. No, I you must have had a bad dream. Because this is Candace with uh, Samantha Egger's mother, Grandma. And something is in the house. When Grandma goes in the kitchen, she finds a little dwarf on top of the fridge. A mallet-wielding dwarf who takes out Grandma. Candace finds the body. He thinks that I'm... that I'm turning into my mother. Day by day, moment by moment. He thinks that I'm trying to make candy into... into baby Nola. He finds another guy who wants to sue Raglan. Not physiological. I see. Well, uh, give him some more time with your wife. And you will claim physiological damage, too. Grandma's ex-husband. What? Now we're going through a very critical stage in that therapy. I'm not sure much could take it. They haven't told her Grandma died. Are you saying that I'm just supposed to bury the girl's mother and not tell her about it? So he ends up calling Frank and saying, let's go down to that clinic, you and me together. I have a feeling I've just been recruited to babysit. Now Frank was with uh, Candace's school teacher. But before Frank can get there, one of those dwarves shows up and grabs, grabs his little gra glass balls and beats the hell out of Grandpa. Frank gets there and discovers the body. It attacks him in the bathroom, but shortly after that, it dies. Yes. Nola calls home and recognizes the teachers. My husband having your own private PTA meeting, Miss Mayer. I won't even bother to answer that. You bitch! It has no navel, no blood, no belly button. The thing has no belly button. That's right. And that means this creature has never really been born. At least. How many people do we have at the main Raglan decides to close up shop after a couple of deaths that have occurred. Okay, I want them up by he knows what's happening, although we don't yet. Oh, that's cursed. Doesn't anybody know why? Sure somebody knows. I know. He wants to be alone with her. Dr. Raglan wants to be alone with her. Why? Everyone's been released but Nola. In school the next day, two of those creatures show up and, well, they basically take her away. And then they kill the teacher. Kids in the workshed. 
was your wife taking care of? Disturbed kids, the guy said. So Frank goes to investigate. What have you done with my kid? Where is she? They'll kill you if you try to take her away from her. Why? Because in the sand, she's one of them. They're her children, Frank. More exactly than the children of her rage. They're motivated only by her anger, whether that's anger is conscious or subconscious. The only woman in the world for me. Always he tells been, Frank to go talk to his wife and calm her. Won't ever change. Keep her calm so he can grab him Candace and rescue her. When she gets angry, the dwarves get angry and killed. Let me be with you. I want to go with you wherever you go. She gives birth to those things, not in the conventional sense, though. They just kind of grow out of her. And there's one about to pop. So she bites into whatever the hell that thing was, rips open a hole, and out pops a little one. While Raglan is rescuing Candace, she's licking off the blood. But then she gets mad at him. You're lying! You're lying! When the little guys kill Dr. Raglan, Candace hides behind a door. Do. He ends up choking her to death. Which in turn kills all the dwarves. There's Dr. Raglan. He grabs Candace, takes her to the car. Our last scene in the movie is a close-up of Candace's arm with these strange little things growing on them, which is exactly what her mother had. All right, let's talk about The Brood, a movie that I originally saw, taped it off of cable back in... Uh, March of 1987 was on the movie channel. That's when I saw it. I had it on the same tape as uh, uh, Mountain Top Motel Massacre and Friday the 13th Part 6, A New Blood. I remember looking forward to this at the time because I had just come across this movie in Leonard Mountain's uh, movie book, his movie guide. And the description that he wrote in there, he did not like it. Uh, he wrote a description, something to the effect of um, uh, Samantha Egger, the star of this movie. She said, Egger eats her own afterbirth while midget clones beat... Uh, grandparents and lovely school teachers to death with mallets. It's a big, wide, wonderful world we live in, isn't it? That's what he wrote, which I thought was fantastic. Um, and that's kind of what happens in this movie. Uh, Oliver Reed runs this um, uh, clinic, I guess you could say, and he calls it, what's it called? Pyro, py, py, I don't know what the hell he calls it, something. Psychoplasmics. And I don't know exactly, he's just dealing with some disturbed people up there. Um, Samantha Egger is uh, Nola, one of his patients. Nola's husband, um, I don't know if they're, they're estranged or what, but um, yeah, they are. I don't know if they're divorced or separated or what, but anyway, um, they're estranged at some point, and he's outside, uh, you know, living his life with their daughter, Candace. And um, suddenly, strange things are happening. These little midget dwarves, I guess you could say, these things um, with deformed faces start killing people and they're all people that um, Samantha Egger's character is angry at when she's doing her therapy with her doctor. Um, she gets angry at somebody in her real life like her mother or the school teacher and uh, suddenly these little dwarves kill uh, the subject of her rage. Uh, we find out ultimately what's going on in this movie. We'll just cut to the chase here. Um, She's having some sort of thing wherever she, whenever she has rage, she ends up giving birth to these weird creatures. But they're not, they're they're birth kind of out of her, out of her body, but not coming out of her like the traditional way. Um, and they turn into these little hideous monster things. Um, and then Doctor uh, 
Raglan is his name, Oliver Reed, explains that to uh, her husband at one point what's happened um, because the, the midgets come in and they kidnap Candace from school and he obviously goes up to try to rescue her and she's being held by like this cabin full of like 20 of these things. Oliver Reed says, look, I want you to go to NOLA. Tell her that you want to get back together. Remain, keep her calm because if she gets angry, these things are going to come alive and they're going to start attacking everything. So keep her calm. So he tries to do that. She ends up giving birth while she's sitting there talking to him. And then, unfortunately, she does get angry, which makes all these little midgets come to life. As the doctor was trying to rescue Candace, they attack the doctor. Candace escapes. And then um, Frank, uh, Art Hindle, that's uh, the husband or the father of Candace in this case, chokes uh, Samantha Egger to death. And by doing so, it killed all the midgets, too. So he goes in, grabs his daughter. Oliver Reed is dead at this point. Um, takes his daughter home, but as they're leaving, they show that she's the daughter has these same little welts on her arm that her mother had when she was a kid, so she's going to grow, grow up to be the same thing, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that is David Cronenberg's The Brood, Canadian uh, filmic, Canadian-made film. And um, I remember being disappointed with this when I first saw it way back when because I was expecting some sort of grossness, um, but it's a little more uh, deeper than that, a little, uh, little more analytical, I guess you could say. And I've learned to appreciate this film over the years because I do think it's kind of a cool film. In fact, I think it's one of his better works, to be honest with you. So, But anyway, that is The Brood. Um, yeah, it's got some sloppy gore in it. I don't think there was any nude scenes in this. Maybe there was. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, these little leprechaun-type midget dwarf things are killing people with mallets and glass balls and whatever else they can get their hands on. Pretty cool. Anyway, check it out. It's The Brood. I'm guessing this movie is available on uh, Blu-ray by now. I will leave a link to that down below. Otherwise, you can get the DVD for sure. I've had this one a long, long time in my collection. Check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. It's The Brood. Watch it. Bye.